What is up team? Welcome back to The Work Method and welcome to day 17 of the power program. We have a lower body workout in the books for today. Let's jump into, jump into that warm up and then into the first circuit. We're gonna start off with 10 overhead squats. So feet shoulder width apart, hands overhead. Nice and low, 10 reps. Get loosened up. From there, we're gonna go into a forward lunge, trying to get that knee over your toe as far as you can. You can lift that heel off the ground. Really feel a nice stretch in the back of the ankle, calf, hip flexor on the opposite leg. We're gonna do three each side. Take your time. Also opening up that hip flexor on the leg that's back. You can keep the knee off the ground or you can set it on the ground if you need a little bit more support. Depending on how flexible you're feeling today. <clears throat> then we're gonna go feet wide sumo stance, uh, floor touches. So pushing those hips back as much as you can. Touch the floor. You can have a slight bend at the knee at the bottom if you need to. Ten reps. Then we're gonna drop down, we're going five push-ups. Five cobra push-ups. So standard push-up, down, up, five reps. Then we're gonna drop down, lower body stays on the ground. Hands slide down and back a little bit. Extend up through those elbows and lock out. 10 reps. Now we're gonna hop up, we're gonna go 10 big arm circles forward, 10 in reverse, 10 crosses, and get into this first circuit here. And in reverse. And then 10 crosses. All right, team. So, first circuit up. We got three rounds through, which has increased from last week, but we're gonna change up the intervals here. So we were doing 50, 40, 30. Today we're gonna actually go shorter so we can go heavier. So the only movement we're gonna be doing is a front rack step up. We have right and left though. So we're gonna go 30 seconds of a front rack step up of the right leg. So if you have a bench, you're gonna go single dumbbell unless you wanna go heavier. I'm actually gonna go two dumbbells to make it a little bit harder because it's only 30 seconds. And you're gonna rack both dumbbells up on the shoulders, set that foot up on the bench, drive up, nice and slow down. After 30 seconds, we're gonna take a 10 second break, rack them again, and we're gonna go 30 seconds on the left leg. Then we're gonna take a 20 second rest, and we're gonna do 25 seconds each leg, 10 seconds rest between right and left, another 20 second rest, and then finally only 20 seconds on the last one. So these are shorter intervals, which means we can go heavier, we can get more intense with it. We're increasing the number of rounds this week, so it's three rounds instead of two. 45 seconds rest between each round. If you don't have something to step up onto, you can do front rack split squats. So nice and low, up, down, same format. If you don't wanna use two dumbbells and you wanna go one-sided, load that dumbbell over the same side of the leg that's stepping up. Do we have any questions, team? Are we good? All right, let's do it. We got a 10 second countdown. We're gonna jump into this first circuit here. Front rack step ups. I'm gonna go with 30 pounders, two 30s. 30 seconds on the right leg, coming up. In three, two, one. Abs tight, chest up, drive. Nice and slow down. Four. 
push through that heel, control your weight on the way down. Two, one, rest for 10. Switching arms and legs. I'll come around this way, look at you guys. We're going in three, two, rack them, left leg. Nice and controlled. Five, three, two, one. 20 seconds, team. Set them down. We're going back to the right leg for 25 seconds. In eight. Pick them up. Right leg, 25, two, one. Work. Keep those abs tight, chest up. You won't believe we've had our great, but somewhere there's a light inside of us. It shows the way. Control that descent. No, no, heaven will go, cause I got you. Two, one, press. Only 10 seconds. Left leg, 25, three, two. One, work. Second interval on the right. In 10. Five. Right leg for 20 seconds. Two. One. Work. For 10. Woo. 20 on the left. In three. Two. Work. Rest, team. 45 seconds. One round down, two to go. Ask yourself how the weight felt on that first round. I actually thought I was gonna be jumping it up, but I am sticking with 30. Has a strong attack on the upper back, core, not just legs. Keep breath, walk it off, team. We are back to the top in 20. You got a right leg for 30 seconds. If you can't hold that front rack position anymore, you can drop them down to your side. Just keep working those legs though. In three, two, one, let's work. Come on. Thirty on the right. Tight chest up. Five. Two. One. Rest. Woo! Left leg for 30. Come on. Three. Two. One. Work.
two, one. Rest for 20, 25 seconds. Right leg. Woo! Come on. In five, three, two, one. Let's work. Seconds, switching legs. Woo! Come on. 25 on the left. In three, one, work. Five, three, two, one. Let's work. Right leg, 20 seconds. Slow on the way down. Two, one, 10 seconds. Woo! Oh. Last one, 20 on the left. Two, one, let's work. Let those dumbbells rest on your shoulders or your arms are gonna give out. Five, two, one, rest team. Whoo, 45 seconds team. We got one more round. Adjust the weight if you need to. If you find your chest collapsing over, your form falling off, taking too many rests, decrease the weight, move with better quality. Good reps all day, team. I'm sticking with 30, so I think I can hang in there. This is our final round. We got a nice three minute rest coming up after this. 12 seconds. Lock in those shoulder blades down and back, chest tall. Drive through that right heel for 30 seconds in five, three, two, one. Let's work. Left leg, 30. Come on. seconds to work on that right leg. In 10. Home stretch, come on. Two, one, and work. 25.
10. Two, one, rest. 10 seconds. Woo. Left leg, 25. Two, one, work. Ten. Two, one, rest. 20 seconds each leg, and then we are done with this circuit. Come on. Woo. In eight. Five. Three. One, 20 seconds on the right. Come on. Don't jump off the bottom foot. Push through that right leg. Three, two, one, rest. 10 seconds, switch the leg. Three, two, 20 on the left, come on. This is it, three minutes rest. Coming up after this. Five, three, one, and rest, team. Woo! Three minutes on the clock. Let's recover and get into circuit B. Second here, team. I want to double check something. Oops. Sorry, team. Clicked something wrong on my computer. All right. So we do have the exact same format. This round, except. Uh, we're hitting the hamstrings. So, we are doing hamstrings and a little bit of core. So we're gonna do a sumo dumbbell deadlift. We're gonna do the same format though. So it's 30 seconds of a sumo dumbbell deadlift. So that means your feet are wide, toes are pointed out, dumbbells or kettlebells are in between your legs. Hips go back, chest is facing the ground, slight bend the knees. Think about pushing your butt back towards the wall behind you. Keeping the weight on the heels and midfoot, standing up nice and tall. So, you can do this with two dumbbells, or two kettlebells, or one dumbbell, whatever you have available to you. So my feet are wide, my palms are facing me, hips are going back, feeling that stretch in the hamstring, drive up through the heels. Again, this is a shorter interval, 30 seconds. Last week we were doing longer, but less, so, less, less rounds. We're going three rounds through again. So that's our first move. 30 seconds, then 10 seconds rest, and we go 30 seconds of a, uh, a knee hug crunch. So you're gonna lie on your back, hands overhead. You're gonna crunch up and bring the knees in at the same time and then fully extend. You're really trying to bring those knees as close as you can on the top and get a strong contraction in your core and then fully extend. If you need to modify, you can just kind of sit the chest up a little bit and then bring the knees in and hug and then back out, leaving your upper body on the ground. That's the best modification for it. So we're going 30, 20, or sorry, 30, 25, 20, same exact time format as the last one, except now we're alternating between two exercises instead of unilateral work. Any questions, team? We good? I'm gonna go 255 pound kettlebells. This is only 30 seconds, so I'm gonna really challenge myself with the weight here on the sumo, and then obviously body weight on the, um, uh, knee hug crunches. We're going in 20 seconds, team. Get ready, set up, get your weights. Feet are sh a wider than shoulder width. It's sumo style, so toes are pointed out. Think about opening up those knees and hips going back. 30 seconds of sumos in three, two, one. Abs tight, down, stand up nice and tall, squeeze. A 
adjust your feet as necessary. Three, two, one. Knee hug crunches, team. On your back. In five. Three, two, and work. Squeeze, back out. Two, one, rest, 20 seconds. We're back to 25 seconds of deadlifts. In eight. Three, two, 25 seconds. Abs tight, use those legs and low back. Chest to the ground, hips back. Two, one, rest. 25 seconds of knee hug crunches. In four, two, one, and work. Two, one, rest. 20 seconds, and we got 20 second deadlift. And we're through round one after this round of deadlifts and crunches. In seven. Three, two, one, and work. Two, one, rest. 20 seconds of knee hug crunches. Woo! Two, one, work. Two. One, rest. 45 seconds, team. Come on, hang in there with me. We're on round two of three. Back to the top of 30 seconds of deadlifts. Coming up. Nice deep breaths, walk it off. Think about driving through the hamstrings and glutes on these Deadlifts. Five seconds, start setting up. Three, two, and work. Use those legs and hips. Two, one, rest, 10 seconds. Knee hug crunches. Woo. Three, one, and work.
Come on. Two, one, rest. 20 seconds. We're on 25 seconds of sumo deadlifts. Whew. Eight seconds. Three, two, one, let's work. Abs tight, drive through the heels. Hug crunches. 25, two, work, squeeze. Little pause at the top. Seconds, 20 seconds to deadlift. One, and work. Two, one, rest. Ten, 20 seconds of knee hug crunches in five. Two, one, work. <laughs> one, rest. Woo! 45 team, we're on our final round through this circuit. We got one more circuit after this. How we doing, team? We good? Let's do it. Finish this one strong. Increase the weight on the deadlift if you can, or decrease if you're struggling, if you have any pain in the lower back. Should be some level of fatigue there, but not pain. Should feel it in the glutes, hamstrings, upper back even. 10 seconds. We got 30 seconds of deadlift coming up. Brace those abs, keep your head neutral. Three, one, and work, come on. Seconds of knee hug crunches. Come on. Woo. Three. One. And work. And I'm blinded by the sunshine in your eyes. Not thinking twice in my this done. Although I know you're all I want. Come on. I crave something so bad. My sweaty palms reveal a warning I should hear. Two, one, rest. Twenty-five seconds. Deadlift. In seven. Three, two, one. Come on. Legs and hips, drive. Can't 
two, one. 25 seconds, crunches. Two, one, work. Two, one, rest. Woo. 20 seconds of deadlift, team. Come on. In 10. Good reps all day. Four, three, one, work. Two, one, rest, 10. 20 seconds of crunches. Two, one, work. on the clock, we got our final circuit coming up. Come on. Hold on one second. Sorry. All right, let's do it. So, this round, we got a minute and 20 intervals. So, Imam style format. Except we got a little upper body mix in here. That's what I'm mixed up, guys. Sorry, I got a little mix up in my uh, workout here. Let me just get this right. All right, so, okay, no, here we go. So. Imam style, minute and 20 Imam style. So every minute and 20, you have a dedicated exercise and a dedicated number of reps. In our first minute and 20, we're doing 20 goblet squats. So you can take a dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever you like. Elbows tucked in tight, staying nice and tall, abs tight, 20 reps. We also did this last week. You can try to beat the weight that you used last week. And I'm actually gonna use wedges. I used some uh, heel wedges with a normal stance last week. That helps you stay a little bit more upright, a little bit stronger. That's our first move. Second movement in the second minute 20 is 20 mummy sit-ups. So, hands straight, you're going full sit-up, touch the shins, nice and slow down. You can also modify to knees bent, crunches. Let your head touch and slide those hands to the top of your knees. Third movement, we got 20 dumbbell, kettle, or dumbbell or kettlebell swings. So if you're doing dumbbell, feet are narrow, shoulder blades are back, you're gonna swing those dumbbells forward, keep them above the knees, use your hips and legs to drive those dumbbells up, and the arms are just along for the ride. Try to keep those dumbbells high, low back stays flat. If you're gonna use a kettlebell, you're gonna go in between the legs, set up in a tripod stance, tilt that kettlebell on your side, hike, pop. Keep that kettlebell, high in the hips. Same thing, above the knees. Let me pause this, sorry, I wasted some time. I get a extra rest. And the final movement is 30 bicycle crunches. So you're on your back, opposite knee, opposite elbow. Try to focus on fully extending that knee. Any questions, team? Those are our four movements. Sorry about the confusion, I got my programming mixed up on today because we're swapping the upper body, lower body days. Had a little 
switcheroo go on there. I'm gonna use a wedge for my goblets. So my heels are up a little bit elevated. I'm gonna go 55 on the goblet squat and the swing, so just heavier than last week. Challenge yourself if you're comfortable with either of these movements. It's gonna be tough. We good team, any questions? We're going 15 seconds, team. 20 goblet squats. You have a minute 20 to complete them. Your only rest is the remainder of that minute 20. And then we move into the next movement. Three, two, one. Keep that kettlebell close to the body. Chest up, 20 reps. You can break them up if you need to. Nice and low. Seconds team to finish. We got 20 mummy sit ups coming up in the next minute and 20. Take your time. I'm cutting you there if you're still working, team. Take 10 seconds. You're ready for these mummy sit ups. We got three rounds through this, by the way. Two. Next minute and 20. 20 reps. Come on, 40 seconds left. <laughs> 20 seconds, team. I'm gonna cut you at 10. And we're going into 20 swings. Dumbbell or kettlebell. I'm gonna go kettlebell with a 55 pounder. Cutting it there, team, cut it. Rest for 10, get ready for your swings. Set up in a triangle position. That kettlebell is out in front of you. And work. Feet narrow if you're using a dumbbell. Pop and hike. 20 reps. Set a plank at the top. Set it down. Woo. <clears throat> 35 seconds, team. <clears throat> I'm gonna cut you at 10. We got 30 bicycle crunches. Focus on rotating that torso, fully extending the opposite leg. Rest. 15 each side. In 10 seconds, cut us, cut your uh, swings there if you're still working on them. Five, two, one, sit the chest up, work. Woo! 
right, team, one round down. We've got 40 seconds to finish. Well, actually 30, because I'm going to cut you at 10. Twenty seconds, we're back to the top. Twenty goblet squats coming up. Core should be pretty fatigued now. You're really gonna have to fight to keep that chest upright and not let it collapse over during the goblet squat. We are cutting it in three, two, one. Get set up your goblet team. Round two or three. Let's get it. Five. Deep shoulder width, toes pointed out. One. And work. 20 reps. Nice and low. Thirty seconds, team. We're cutting it in fifteen, though. Sit ups coming up. We're cutting it in two, one. Mummy sit ups in ten seconds, team. Twenty reps or crunches. Uh, two, one. Work. 20 reps. Come on, five seconds, team. Woo, we got 20 kettlebell or dumbbell swings. We're cutting your sit-ups. There. Okay, take that 10 seconds rest. In three, two, 20 swings. Thirty seconds and we cut it, team. Fifteen seconds. And we cut it. We're going to do thirty bicycle crunches. Come on. We're in that home stretch. We got one more round after these crunches. Cut it there, team. 30 bicycle crunches coming in 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Let's work.
Oh. Woo. 42 seconds, team. We got our last round here. Dry your hands. Let that heart rate recover. Ask yourself if you can go any heavier on any of the weighted movements. If you can, do it. I'm sticking with the 55 on my swings and squats. Woo! Deep breath, we're cutting it in two. One, cut it there team, get 10 seconds to rest for these last set of goblet squats. Get deep on these, as low as you can, control that descent. Last round, 20 reps, come on. Pop it up. Seconds, so we cut it. Oh, that was rough. Ten, cut it there, team. Mommy, sit up. In five, two, one, and work. Forty-five seconds. Thirty seconds. Woo. Ten seconds till we cut it. Five, two, one. We got swings, team. 20 dumbbell or kettlebell swings coming up. In three, one, and work. You can take a couple seconds here. These go by a little faster. Come on. 30 seconds till we cut it. Fifteen. We got 30 bicycle crunches coming up. We're gonna cut the swings in eight seconds, team. Five. Take your time on these crunches. Ten seconds. 30 bicycles coming up. In four, two, one, and work. Whew, you got the full minute, team. Set chest up, abs on.
taking short breaks. I'm gonna keep my tempo smooth, slow. Your little lower body bicycles. Finish them off. Woo, 30 seconds, team. That's it for me. Oh, I'm not cutting you at 10. Keep working if you're not finished until that buzzer goes off. 15 seconds, team. Come on. 10, 7, 5, 3, 2, 1, and done team. Day 17 of the power program is in the books. Nice work, Zim. Get in here. Awesome work, guys. We have a rest day tomorrow. We'll be back with a full body workout on Thursday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys for joining in. Have an awesome rest of your day. Enjoy your rest day tomorrow. I'll see you guys on Thursday. Thanks. Bye.